Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for joining me this weekend. I really appreciate you guys. Please, by all means, don't forget if you have an opportunity, or if you think of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please make sure that you hit that notification bell down below so that you can be notified when I post new content. But today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people seem to forget. And that is that you do not have to take an oath on a Bible or any holy book whatsoever in order to hold an office in the United States. Because the Constitution plainly states that you, there is no religious test in order to hold an office. But for some strange reason, which I think I know why... Hmm... People, especially elected representatives, <clears throat> because mostly of their religious background and belief, feel as if that they should be the arbiters of who and sh who should not be in an office and what they should take an oath on. But don't take my word for it, because hey, let's attack the idea, not the person. Let's take Marjorie Greene's word for it. They swore in on the Korean. Oh, we have the Bible. We're going to talk about swearing in on the oath, how to swear in on the Bible with them and let them know what our law says, yes. that you can't swear in on the Korean. So we're going, to, we're going to explain that. You know, we're going to explain about how you can't swear in on the Korean. So, unfortunately, she is absolutely 100% incorrect when she states that you have to take your oath on a Bible. You do not. You don't have to take it on a Quran. You don't have to take it on any holy book whatsoever. It's just symbolism. That's all it is. Because there's no religious test for holding an office anywhere in the United States. And if there is, it's against the law. It's against the Constitution. You can take your oath of office on a Spider-Man comic. You can take your oath of office on um, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. You should probably check it out and get one of those. It's on Amazon. <coughs> you know, make Jeff Bezos richer, I guess. And help out Neil deGrasse Tyson and spread some science. But I digress. You can take your oath of office if you are elect elected on anything you want. You can take your oath of office on a ham and cheese sandwich. Ugh, I don't eat no ham. But you can take it on whatever you want to. Oh, sorry, there's vegans out there. On a, uh, ooh, not so much of, what is it called? A vegan sandwich or whatever the heck it would be. I don't know, vegetable-based food. But still, you can take your oath of office on anything you want. You don't have to use a Bible or any holy book or text whatsoever. So please, people, talk to your friends. You know, somebody come and get, you know, this lady and let her understand that no you do not have to do that once again ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me i really appreciate you guys i know this is a short video and just a little tidbit of information but you don't have to do what this idiot says oh and one more thing on a serious note please don't forget that covid is a thing it's still a thing people are dying we have over 400 thousand people who have died from COVID and the numbers are rising at least 4,000 people a day. I myself live in a hotbed for COVID because people don't take it seriously. I live in Arizona and I am in the healthcare profession. So I get to see a lot of these people who have COVID and then at some point in time end up dying. Recently in the state of Texas, my uncle died from COVID just this past Friday. So it's real, it hits families, people that you know and don't know suffer from the consequences of people either not taking COVID seriously or taking it seriously but others not taking it seriously and infecting those people and then them dying from the disease. There's nothing worse I don't think than being in a hospital in an ICU or in isolation. No one that your family can come around to see you and your last breaths on this planet are holding the hand of a complete and total stranger. I don't think I want that for anyone. I don't care what your political stance is, what color you are, where you're from. I don't care. No one should have to endure that. That is probably one of the worst things I can think to ever happen to anyone. And it's happened to my family. And it probably will happen to a whole bunch of other people's family soon. So, please take it seriously, people. Wear a mask, wash your hands, don't forget social distancing. Um, 
get a COVID vaccination whenever it's available to you. If you don't know how to get a COVID vaccination, please visit the CDC website, which will be somewhere probably down here, up there, wherever it is on the screen. I'll make sure and put that website uh, on this video for you. And if I don't put it on the video, it'll definitely be a link for it down in the description. So take care of yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Enjoy your rest of your weekend. And by all means, please don't forget, be the best heathens that you can be and have a great day.